Welcome to lesson number 13. <gasps> Unlucky number. But it's funny because it's called blessings in disguise. Now, I believe that this whole life is a blessing in disguise. Because we're so focused on the negative. Everything seems like it's not blessed. But there are a lot of situations actually, actually where things happen and uh, seemingly bad things. But people come to find out that they were actually blessings in disguise. And if you really take notice in your life, everything that, everything bad that happens is a blessing in disguise. Because when bad things happen, there's always something that you can learn from it. Some of the best things that have ever happened to us wouldn't have happened to us if it weren't for some of the worst things that have ever happened to us by Mokokoma Mokon. <laughs> really butchering the name, but just put it on the screen and you can read it for yourself. I mean, there are a lot of bad things happening. Oh no, bad things happening. We're just here to suffer on this earth and everything around us sucks and there are wars and there's racism and inequality and I stub my toe again and everything just is falling apart around me. Yeah, that's what it seems like. But that's because you're attracting it. So, when you attract something bad because you're mostly negative because people have 60,000 thoughts per day and 50,000 of those are negative, it's always like tailored perfectly to your situation, right? Well, that's because you have an inner being who knows where you stand in relation to everything in your life. And just imagine how many vibrations there are, how many different radio channels there are of things and how many different kind of standpoints or points where you stand are, you know? There is so much that is specific. It's like zooming in on the carpet and never ending, you know? Everything that, it's it, it just, things never end. You, there are the things that are tinier, 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 and then it just enlarges again, and you have a whole new ecological weird bacteria system down there, I don't know. Yeah, there are a lot of things that are too specific. Like, if you think about it too much, your head kind of explodes. But that's the beauty about life. So I've talked a lot in this course about the seemingly bad ego. But I did mention in a previous lesson that I didn't want you to perceive the ego as bad because it will just feed the ego more and it is not beneficial to you. But maybe it is even through the ego that we are able to perceive all of this. Because I don't know who we were, what we were, before we got here. But I do kind of have, not evidence, but from all the stories that I'm hearing, we are positive, pure positive light beings. And we are kind of, woo, woo. I don't know, maybe we're, I don't know why I said woo, but maybe we are just energy floating and we're one with everything, you know? The ego might be a product of this planet Earth. When you enter Earth, you go through a veil of forgetfulness because you don't know who you are anymore besides this, you know? I just think that this is this is true if you think that there's more than just this person, but you don't know who you are. So when you enter the Earth or when you were not on Earth, you were probably more positive or more advanced maybe. So when you enter the Earth, the ego suddenly appears or you have the brain or I don't know where it is because if you start focusing on your body, you know, you have a Joe Dispenza meditation where he um, lets you focus on the empty space in your body. And I believe your cells are 0.0001% structural and they are 99.9999999% empty space, which means you can just influence all the cells with your thoughts. But you probably are, or we probably are, pure positive energy. So when we come here and the ego is suddenly here, we get to use the ego, maybe, to experience the apartness that is an illusion too, because we're not separate from anything, we're just all one, but we're experiencing it through the eyes of the ego, maybe. So that's the thing, the ego is not all bad. It's also a blessing in disguise. It is also here for a reason. But maybe we shouldn't see the ego as a thing. We should just see the ego as the opposite of the intuition. 
and that is in itself it might be a negative thing but i believe that it's just you're maybe you're just downloading you're just downloading things aren't you you know when you watch tv when you hear people your brain or your subconscious mind is downloading those things and the ego might be the negative thing that is only here on earth uses that in order to fight against you or to maybe it's not all bad you know maybe you were just taught to be negative from a young age on and that everything sucks so we we have trained the ego ourselves like i'm not scientific enough in order to explain this but i do have my own theories and i want you to form your own theories as well what i'm saying is it's a blessing in disguise that it's here because we learn through negativity we learn through contrast and i believe that i even watched a person a man talk about his near-death experience that he was almost dead he went to the other side i guess and um he met with some beings there and they talked to him and i believe the being said to him and this really stuck with me that even on your worst day on earth we would trade with you instantly and that's because they would rather experience something even if that something is really bad instead of not experiencing anything at all so that's a really beautiful message that you can take away with you so know that you are not here to suffer you are not here to struggle or to have a difficult life you have just identified with that which is negative and you are used now to identifying with it you are addicted to the emotions as i said in the last lesson with a quote from joe dispensa we are addicted to our beliefs we're addicted to the emotions of our past you're just used to identifying with it with them because even if the world will seem very unfair in its negativity it is always teaching you something and know that you are in complete control of the decisions you make in your life and you are in complete control of how you feel by the so-called bad things that are happening to you there is actually abundance there is enough abundance to go around but we have the beliefs set that that it's hard to get money and that we only have one income and that our lives suck and that our jobs suck and that we will never be rich enough and that's just not for us it's not something that's for us well try try to change those beliefs try to change your life really give it an effort because you have the power to focus your thoughts you have the power to focus your mind on something that is pleasant even in an all seemingly unpleasant world stop waiting for someone to save you save yourself because the universe is here to work with you even to work for you it has love for you it will never judge you and you could be so blinded by all the negative things in the world that you just don't see that anymore but once you see it once you just open your heart your heart and you let all of that love in how hippie that will sound you will see love everywhere and that with a mere thought you can make the universe respond i mean i had a even an, an experience today where i was just sitting on a bench outside waiting for someone i breathed in and out a couple of times with my palms facing up got really quiet and all of the clouds started disappearing right above me and the sun came through i mean and i only thought wow i would love to see the sun right now that's it and the universe responded and if you believe that that's entirely up to you but that was a beautiful experience for me so know that you are really powerful and you have the energy inside of you to create worlds but you have been focused on a negative for the longest time and i get it because we all, we all are okay we all are but it's time to change yourself and focus on the positive and welcome when something negative happens then it's okay it you don't have to react negatively to it better said when you do react negatively to it because it's going to happen become aware that you do or become aware that you are reacting to it in a certain way and try to catch it next time when something happens don't beat yourself up doesn't work stop beating yourself up just don't do that 
So what do I know about this universe and about all the blessings in the skies? Well, blessings in the skies. Well, that feeling good feels good. That feeling good about myself feels good. That feeling empowered feels good. That seeing the best in others feels good. Even if I have hated them in the past. Having faith in myself feels good. That feeling magical feels good. Feeling free feels good. And that is all that I have to do in a world full of negativity. If I try to solve every little thing that is happening in my life, I, I would be dead. Because I could never get it done. Because my mind, the ego in my mind, will always have something. It will always find something to worry about. Like it doesn't stop. It is made, it's put here, maybe, I don't know. But it is here and it's here to just beat you down. It, it doesn't do anything for you. It's not me, you know, we're not our thoughts. We're not because our thoughts don't feel good. That's the only thing I know. Feeling good feels good and feeling good is the key. That's all I know. So, you know, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, I guess. But in an all negative world, we can still be positive. We have that power. And all the negative things that happen, they truly are blessings in disguise. So thank you so much for watching this lesson. Um, there are only two lessons left, so if you have any questions, I do have a support area in the course participants area where you can send me an email and can have any questions about the course. So I will see you in the next lesson, which is called The Middle Road.